What's up, JBays? This is Victoria James, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and not yet a JBay, go ahead and click the red subscriber button so it turns from red to gray and then makes you a JBay. And to stay tuned for all my upcoming videos, all you have to do is hit the bell, ring that little thing, click all, and then you're all set. Today we're talking Westman Atelier. Today we're going to be talking about Westman Atelier, the squeaky clean liquid lip balm and the new iPods in Rendezvous. So just a little bit of backstory about these iPods, okay? I had both the day and night version of the iPod trios in the past, and I found that they just didn't give enough pigmentation, and I ended up not really reaching for them, so I went ahead and decluttered them. Formula was fantastic. They have this beautiful putty-like texture. They come with a canvas travel pouch, and they um, are magnetic. as you can see. So I really enjoyed them, but I just felt like the pigmentation wasn't really there. And so I let somebody else enjoy them. <laughs> but when I saw that Gucci Westman had released a new color story, a new style called Rendezvous, I looked at the color story and I thought, you know what? These actually look like something that I would really enjoy. These are colors that I would wear, all three. And so I still decided to wait a little bit because of my past experience with the last two iPod trios. And then I saw Aileen of A Merch Beauty try them, um, swatch them rather, on her Instagram with her daughter's hand as well. And her daughter's a deep tan shade. And I noticed that the colors really popped on her. So I thought, okay, let me go ahead and give this a shot. You know, worst that can happen is I end up having to return them because Westman Atelier is now sold at Sephora. Went ahead and made my purchase. I also grabbed one of the um, liquid lip balms in the shade New New. These are not um, brand new, but they are the last release before the new set of iPods. There are six shades to choose from in the uh, squeaky clean liquid lip balms. Um, and I just decided to try one. I got these for 20% off from the friends and family sale. And um, I'll have a haul coming for you guys soon on the friends and family sale. But yeah, um, let me go ahead and swatch these for you so that you can see the color story. First one here is Bom Chance. And this is a beautiful khaki green. This one was, you know, this is the seller. This is the selling point of this particular palette. So here we go. I'm just gonna make that nice and smooth. There's your swatch. And as you can see, that shows up beautifully. These are considered cream shadows, but their texture is very putty-like. There's not a lot of bounce back. So what was the um, Westman Atelier logo imprinted on the actual product, it's, it is no more because I've had, I've been digging my fingers in these and been playing with them. And so this one here is Bisu. And as you can see, it's a beautiful pink champagne shade. And then we have the um, frappe. Oh, I did. I didn't even swatch the sue for you. How rude of me! There you go. And that can these, of course, can layer. But I just want to show you like initial color impact. Last one is frappe, which is a beautiful sort of neutral brown shade, and um, probably the one that I'm going to wear the most. If I'm being honest. There we go. Beautiful cool tone brown. So the way that I put my look together with these was I started off with the frappe shade in my crease and I took that all the way up into the fold. I have hooded eyes so I always tend to bring it up a little bit and so that you can see it and I can kind of map out the shape of my eye look. Then on the rest of my lid I went in with the Bone Chance green shade all over my lid and blended it into the transition shade. Lastly, I went in with Bisou on my inner corner, and I made sure to take that on the upper and lower portion of my inner corner, and then finish things off on the lower lash line with Bon Chance and Frappe, just to diffuse the edges of the eye look. What we're left with is this beautiful look right here. 
I feel like it's a great everyday look. I feel like you can use all three, of course, to achieve a look, but you can also like switch it up a little bit. Um, maybe use two, like the uh, Frappe and Bisou, I think would make a really pretty eye look together. I also think that these would work really great as one and done eyeshadows. So I think that this one for me has the most versatility and the most color payoff. So if you are of a deeper complexion and you're looking to try this out, then I would recommend that you go ahead and give it a try. Just with the understanding that these are not, you know, Pat McGrath level um, pigmentation, but they are just meant to give some life to your eyes. And they all have sort of a metallic sheen um, to them. So you're getting, you know, light reflection. And so it's going to, it's because the formula is also like a putty texture, you're also not going to get creasing. It's not going to emphasize any sort of lid texture. I do think that if you are someone with oily lids, you'll want to prime your lids before putting these on. And next, I went in with, um, to finish off my look, you know, I'm wearing all Westman Atelier, and of course I'll list what those products are. But as far as the squeaky clean liquid lip balms, these are exactly what they sound like. <laughs> it's a liquid lip balm in a tube here with a paddle applicator. And I'm just gonna swatch that color for you. As you can see, it's a beautiful pink tone nude. Um, and it shows up fairly clear once you like wipe it on, but you can just get that little, little tint of color there. I think that the darker the colors are for these, the more color intensity you'll get, but they are still going to have some sheerness to them because they are a lip balm, a liquid lip balm. The nourishment of it though, let's talk about it. The other day I had this exact same look on and I went to sleep in my makeup because I was just out of it. I was totally exhausted, but I made sure to keep my head still, pardon, I made sure to keep my head still because I knew I still had stuff to film. And I, <laughs> I still had some of this lip gloss, I'm sorry, lip gloss, lip balm on. I still had some on and my lips still felt incredibly nourished and looked really great. I wanted you to see in the uh, window here for the color, you can see the Westman Atelier logo, very small on the bottom there. And then for the etching here of the name Westman Atelier, you can also see the color of the product. So that means that this is etched out clear. So you, you're just seeing the component itself and then you can see the color of the product within the letters. I find this to be really gorgeous. I appreciate that the sticker on the bottom is math matches. It's not clear, but it's black and matches um, the component. The component is also matte here and then shiny here. I like that like tone on tone texture difference just to keep things interesting. And I do feel like this is incredibly travel friendly. The size of it, as you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. This also comes with its own canvas pouch and both um, the canvas pouches have Westman Atelier in gold on them. You're gonna see really quick in this uh, demo that I initially put on the sort of mauve tone from the La Rouge lipstick palette just a little bit just to stain my lips before placing Nunu, which is the shade that I have in the squeaky clean lip balm on top of the color. And then off camera, I finished it off with a lip liner. You can choose any lip liner you'd like, or you can forego lip liner. I just wanted a little bit more definition on the perimeter of my lips. So I added a lip liner, but um, as you can see, everything works beautifully together. I am very happy with these iPods. Um, especially when I compare them to the first two, I just feel like this formula, this is the one. <laughs> Miss Gucci Westman, this is the one. I feel like this is the one that going forward, if they're going to make more trios, that I would love to see this level of pigmentation for all of them. That way, more people can utilize it. The um, cream shadows as with a brush or your fingers, they work both ways really well. I highly recommend a densely packed brush for maximum payoff if you're gonna use a brush. That is it for this review of Westman Atelier iPods in Rendezvous, and a little bit of a review of the Squeaky Clean liquid lip balms. I definitely plan on picking up more of those lip balms uh, for the VIB sale, which is coming up, and I will have suggestions for you 
um, coming up as well. Do check the description box if you're interested in purchasing these products. I will have links for you. Those links are affiliated. So if you are going to click through and purchase, please know that I do receive a small commission and I use that money to invest back in the channel. So I hope you're enjoying the content. And if you are, go ahead and let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and leaving a comment in the comment section of your experience with Westman Atelier or your desire to own Westman Atelier. So with that said, everyone, I wanna thank you very much for watching. And I want to encourage you, if you have not yet subscribed, to go right on ahead and become a J-Bay. My birthday's coming up, November 5th. And if you are in the Boston area or just generally in New England and can make it, I would love to see you at the Prudential Center Sephora, where we will have a meet and greet. Okay, so come celebrate my birthday with me. I'd love to have you. I will have an Eventbrite link for you to RSVP in the description box as well. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.